Hey guys and welcome to episode 19. For this episode we will do same as the last one. So we will go for a new Conan rank run with throwing the dice on what clans we play. And yes, so we will start with 20 HP damage on the start for this Covenant rank, which I don't know. I don't really think that it matters much. So we are playing Stygian and Hellhorn. Alright, I do like our starting hand, especially with this unit. If we can make it uh, useful even in combat by upgrading it, it's gonna be a very good card. So let's see the artifact. I, I mean, this does make sense since I'm playing Stygians. Magic power should be good. <coughs> My even my tortures are better now. That's awesome. So do we want a spell weakness or I think I want three spells to be honest. <clears throat> so they will have a lot of more damage. I think that's fine. We do have spell power after all. <coughs> and they should be free as well. I'll forge you, frostbite you. I'll put armor on my Stygian, but I will make change you were tank it anyway. Alright, so I'll do this. Um this, this, and now spells are free, so use them here as well. Right, alrighty. <laughs> or they want to. I think I might want to <laughs> have them here actually. Right, spell damage is a lot, and I can only use one. Alright. I think I do this anyway. So you're just a healer, so I'll take zero damage. I think I should probably set up here. Does he have sweep? He doesn't have sweep, so I'll put it on train sword. I will destroy you. Alright, so now I will put more armor on you and use all of these spells. They are pretty strong because of that unit. Apply the frostbite for sure, and we win. All right, that was actually way closer than I expected it to be. Uh, so, what apply spell weakness to an enemy unit is hmm. do you want it? I might want it. I guess I'll take it. I'm not sure if I want it. It's the problem. Horn break, I'm sure I do want. And definitely need a tank, so this armor dude will do nice. So now I think. I do want to go right, but I think going left makes way more sense. So I can effectively make this dude strong. Does my champion... How much space do you take? Only one. So I do like giving you some power, honestly. You getting more HP, and I will also upgrade you with some damage. Alright, I like my uh, unit upgrades, so let's see what unit I get. Mm -hmm. 
this is actually interesting. I'm not sure if I should take him though. This is the problem. Doesn't go very well with my synergies. On the other hand, this guy at least generates rage, so maybe. Uh, this is fine, they will come with rage. He has haste, which is kind of annoying. All right, I think I set up at the top floor. And let's do some damage, I guess. I should probably pierce you, though. Oh my god, this, this is gonna happen every time. Alright, um... I guess I'll put <laughs> you as well. Ah, uh, god. I mean, spell weakness doesn't really matter at all, so I'll just use it here for you getting an incant. Oh, so many of them. Well, let's start streaming the herd, I guess. So I'll take only one damage, and that is pretty good if you ask me. Could have been much worse. Alright, so... I'll set you up here. Let's kill you so you don't skip floors. Apply... Wait, you will die already. No, because... <laughs> Alright. I guess my unit is strong enough. <laughs> uh, it's hilarious. Alright. Uh, I get the uh, trial bonus, which is nice. I did take some penalty, but not much. Random enemy unit three times is... Kinda what I want. Uh, whoa, this Welder Helper was up, uh, buffed between patches. You know, he gives 20 armor, which is insane. So you can choose between going left or right. On right, I would get the restore, on left, I would get the duplication. What would I want to duplicate? The best thing I could duplicate is this dude, I think, since I spent most money on him. The other best one would be this small scummage. Ooh, actually like that idea more. Uh, but... I think upgrading units would make more sense than getting a new unit that's not stronger multi strike on you seems good or even on you this is hard hard decisions man all right i can give you i think i'll do it like this give you some hp and damage and then i will also give you multi strike so I will generate a lot of rage and I will upgrade you to have more damage output. I could go for a multi strike on that skull mage. What's his name? It's called Mol Molus Molcus Molcus Mage, I guess. So he wants help, he wants me to take his cards while he runs away and he promises to, I guess, give me something in return later, which is fine. I think my deck is strong enough, so might as well. Right, his enemy, when, when enemies die, I take front, my front unit takes one damage, which is kind of fine. So I have to purge this. I will set up up top, I think, again. Uh, 
especially since he, uh, units come with rage so it's kind of annoying <coughs> on that front although I am kind of interested in applying some boss damage right so I use this here because it's free I will put an imp here what imp will do is he's gonna make he's gonna do damage after he gets free rage so that's good he will just die I guess I didn't have to use the chain yogurt but whatever spell weakness on the boss should have uh, use the frostbite first but it's whatever I think I will rather kill this so he's on this floor so every my spell is free I will start with this one I was gonna say is this a brief resp respite respite I think I apparently it's not but yeah I'm gonna still do it here just for the sake of doing it so apparently I do just win which is awesome obviously so rare pack consume apply rage and armor equal to the energy or I could transfer transfer all frostbite on this floor to a unit and then I bullet. I think I'll take this just for the sake of for the sake of uh, worried. Uh, what's the word? Um, Um, I, I guess I'll take you since you're still not golden, although I'm surprised. I I cannot remember, I, I can't figure the word out that I want to say. I think I'll go for capacity though. I, I mean I know what, what I wanted to say but I don't know, <coughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, I mean, I think I usually do, but it's kind of on the top of my tongue, <laughs> but yeah, cannot remember how exactly to say it. So do I have consume? You don't think I have consume? I guess the only consume is this spike of the hellhorn. I could go for a plus 3 draw, but honestly, is it even necessary? My All my spells are gonna be free. Um, most likely because I'll go for his upgrades, so I would get a bigger draw, I guess. But what if my monsters are more expensive? I, I don't like this artifact, it's... I... mostly because I... One round, I took it at the start of the um, on the first ring, and it just didn't do anything for me. It rolled all the bad things. So yeah, yeah, I kind of hate it. This is actually a strong card, but yeah, I I did I I didn't want either of those artifacts, I guess. So I I now have no idea what which one to the Whoa, Lord Stone Totem, Totem, Totem. It can't apply sub to enemy units. Why I say it's Whoa because it costs so much. Holy shit! So I guess I will take this one because I don't have enough energy for the other one. Most likely, anyway. I. How much do my spells cost even? Yeah, I, I will go for this, but not yet. So I will take this uh, spell weakness appliance, I guess, and the sweep, which is all good as long as I 
don't go against freaking mm. do you have enough damage output this is kind of risky honestly but i think i will take the risk i might be able to do this but yeah sweep is all right on your champion as long as enemies don't have spikes so let me see if i can apply m enough damage you're 30, you're 32, you're 10. So I cannot sell. So I'll set up on the second floor after all. Which is, I guess, not ideal, but. <laughs> spell weakness, but in Kent. Guess I'll just armor you up. Alright, so. You will take so much damage. It's not gonna be enough. It's not. You're now dead, which is perfect. I don't think. Well, I could kill you, but you're gonna dive to sweep. I think I do want to kill you for sure. I do. I put you here to start stacking armor as soon as possible, I guess. All right, good enough. Oh, I got these uh, candles thingies. Uh, uh, they don't have incants here, but I don't actually have enough energy if it's not on the floor with my uh, champion. So uh, no incants again, which is good. He's not gonna die, which is bad. How do I change that? You gonna hit him? I don't think I actually can change it much. Oh, I should do this, however. <laughs> well, never mind. This is great. It's an awesome card, but I would have to apply some kind of region to use it every turn. A region that obviously I don't have. I'm not playing a Woken deck. So is he gonna... Uh, he heals fully between the floors, that's right. She's gonna be annoying. Uh, well, whatever, I guess. I think I will uh, frostbite you up, so you, you you do six damage less probably to my pyre. This is a consume, but I guess I will do it so you have some damage output. Ah, uh, it's a rage actually, it will decay. So I guess I didn't calculate it right. I'll do this for sure. draw. Shit. Yes, I take 3 damage to my fire. Uh, so is this at the top of my uh, draw pile? If I use a spell on this floor, will I draw it? I mean, there's only one way to know. Wait, does he have sweep or something? He doesn't. Boom. Whoa. I want to do use this. Um, how much damage do you have? 13. So I would have to put you behind. What other monsters do I have in my deck? Probably none other, so th this does make sense. Ooh, he has a lot of spell weakness on him, so I can probably one shot him with spell weakness or not. Only 40 damage, really? I guess I'll take some more pyre damage, but it's a win overall. So it took 34 pyre damage, oh my god. A spells gain an extra upgrade slot. <laughs> Alright. Alright, I did go for a um, free artifact. As long as I pass the trial, that's why it was so close, I guess. Life frozen? No. 
Ooh, this was nerfed, I think. It usually costed one energy, one ember. I mean, it does make sense. It was pretty strong card. I have one imp. I think I go for this. Or I could have actually gone for nothing. Right, you will now pay for my services, which is what I want. Oh my god, I remember this card. It's so good, such a good card. And also, it gives me magic power for every light card in my deck. Oh my god. It's free real estate, basically. I do want to upgrade him, is the problem, but I cannot. So I think you go right. Let's see the artifact first. I want both of these, actually. But if I had to choose one, it would be energy, I guess. No. Yeah. Let's see the event. Um, when summoned, friendly units. So they would get, well, but what friendly units do I have? I guess I do have a Dante, Dante the Deceptive. <laughs> and he will have a lot of multi strikes. So this does have its. Uh, wait a minute. What if I took this? If I took this, right? He would have even more multi strikes. For every. for each blight card in your deck. So let's calculate. 1, 2, 3, 4. I would get one black card. Don't you get like three of these? Although you do it per when used. I really want both of these, I guess, but I think I go for the artifact. Seven? What? How many did I get? Holy shit. It's gonna be so strong. Holy. Alright, let's duplicate him maybe, even though... or, or do I duplicate? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Or, uh, I mean, I mean, I could duplicate other things as well, maybe you, to draw even mo more. more. <clears throat> but I think duplicating you is probably my win condition at this point. I have to skip the spikes. Spikes, spikes. I have too many multi striking and sweeping units. <laughs> Basically, two of them. Uh, actually, three. Ooh, four. Yep, that's right. Four of them, actually. So I'm thinking, thinking that I don't want to set up on this floor. Probably on this floor, however. If I do this, however, I will be g getting him some rage. If, uh, yep. I'll take damage, but he will get rage in return. So I do want you on this floor, and yep. Probably you for a tank. Put a tank uh, in front of you, another tank in front of you. So I do have to purge this, which is the annoying card. Oh my god. <sighs> I mean, well, what can I even say at this point? It's ridiculous. Wait, I, this is the armor one. I thought it was the draw one, but I guess it's fine. Ooh, he even apply. Yeah, that's ridiculous combinations that I have. So I do want him to die. The problem with him dying, however, is <sighs> that I will not draw this again very soon. Anyway, I don't think I want to put you up. Uh, this probably makes sense, however, in turn. 
it's ridiculous just apply all the energy to you do I win almost uh, I can apply spell weakness or not I think I'll do this so I draw damn it um, I don't think this would change any lot if I did it I guess I'll apply the spell weakness to this alright that's it I was hoping I would win on the first floor but I at least I'm winning on the second floor I mean probably yep spell weakness was worth it <laughs> all right I mean it's pretty much one I just need to upgrade that Dante figure what's his name actually uh, his name is where the, where is he Dante the deceptive it's actually the most ridiculous one I have I had I mean I uh, it's most ridiculous uh, that unit was ever in my deck, which is actually what I try to say. Alright, so I go right to upgrade Dante, of course. I will take the HP. Multi strike, I don't think it's necessary. But, uh, <laughs> gee, I wonder why. <laughs> I mean, I might want to apply it more than HP but honestly HP is kind of nice for the boss fight so yeah reroll so yeah I'll give you the HP on damage sounds good to me I um, I will give you some HP as well all right so that's all for all for the upgrading part let's see another random event so do I want to pay HP or my coins I guess I'll go for coins that's fine I guess I mean could have been a better card or like rage doesn't decay would be insane But yeah, it's fine. I mean, it's good. Uh, it is the... It's not the last boss. It is the multi-striking. I think this this one is usually the hardest boss. If I had to, like, decide between which one is the hardest. I will use the incants obviously. Mm, I should have however killed the units now that I think about it. Lol. Um, it's fine. Ooh, he comes with rage, so also it's kind of silly. Ah, put you here for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's insane. Just insane. Oh, you actually do some damage because she applies rage and multi strike. It's kind of silly. All right, so my sweeping unit died for some reason. I mean my champion because the cards are not free anymore obviously I'm not sure why he died but I'm kind of disappointed in him dying <laughs> God, I mean I'm, I probably still win just by having this multi-striking unit but yeah disappointed Right. 
So I don't have the draw card anymore. I could go for a uh, applying armor to my cards. I guess I will do it. I'm having trouble because she applies rage to her units. Was rage upgraded? Uh, I mean, buffed in patch or something, but apparently not. Uh, sure, keep armoring you up. I'm not using this for free. Final wave. So do I just win? Almost. What can what I can do is probably just apply this and win. <laughs> and I was right. On the money. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's so silly. <laughs> I mean, I would go for this. It's it's a lot of rage, but um, obviously I don't. I cannot afford so much damage to to my own unit. Uh, do I want energy? Yeah, I think I want energy this time. So my consuming uh, X card, X cost cards are more useful, and that was my main reason behind that logic, honestly. All right, I think I go. Both of them are upgraded. I think I go right for sure. So let's get me an artifact. And this is insane. All right, I mean, like my deck wasn't good enough already. Just insane. I yeah, I will double suck this one. I can apply consume to one of you, which I'm not sure why I would do, to be honest. I guess it would make more sense on you if I had to do it on something. No, I will do on one of these. Uh, shit, I misclicked, but whatever. Uh, do I make something cheaper? What can I make cheaper? Probably these armor things. Because they will always cost. Is the uh, main logic behind it, because they're not offensive spells. Holdover would actually be insane. But apparently, I freaked up. I misclicked. I mean, I wasn't paying attention to how much gold I, ha I have, so I will have to skip the holdover, even though I could have just kept applying armor or something. Purging a uh, train steward, I guess. Let's see the forge. So I can go for this or this. I think it makes more sense to apply double spell weakness. Yep, still have very cheap cards, so might as well go for double spell weakness, which is pretty solid. Especially if I keep him on the um, as the most backline unit, he will apply a lot of spell weakness to the boss, and I'll just maybe one shot him. Now, I honestly don't think we can afford. <laughs> giving them so much damage and yeah I'll stick with that decision there's no reason to lose the seventh battle instead of losing the last battle so like we could do set up here I'm kinda I kinda believe it's better to set up here, however. I really wish I had I had the what's what's the name? Actually cannot remember. I guess I'll put you here. I had the quick attack, so he would do all the damage before getting attacked, which would be insane. <laughs> I could already do this, it would 
to be pretty good. Right, I think I do this, so less damage taken. Uh, now I could do this, but I may not conserve more energy, honestly. Have to purge this. Uh, armor you up. Deal random damage to random units. Armor you even more up because you have incant. Hmm. I guess I might as well save you for later and put you on this floor. Don't think the incant unit will sur survive for very, very long. Alright. This is a lot of units. She's kind of insane. Trying to calculate how much damage would they do to my unit, and the answer is too much. I guess I'll put you up here. I, I mean, I, I guess. Let's see if some something survives here. <laughs> I guess they did. And they do, do do some damage because they do start with rage. Uh, because of this artifact. Alright, now let me see. Alright, let's do this. It pretty much negated all damage that they have would output otherwise. Now I am very interested in <laughs> using this. Uh, maybe it should wait a little bit, however. Uh, don't like that I'm waiting so much. Hmm, I don't want to kill you, honestly. Yeah, I do. And I will consume this one as well. Alright, now please tell me that I will get the cards that I want. Oh, especially with this uh, drawing hand thingy. Oh yeah, do that. Pierce, torch, do this. Finally got you, I guess. Wait, he actually died, so I guess I'll do this. <laughs> I mean, I sh yeah, I just win. Yeah, I just win. <laughs> Got him. He does have revenge, which is funny since he didn't even touch my units. Yes, I'll take this, honestly. Uh, since it's a consume. Plus 17 damage. 4 times the amount of armor on friendly units. Plus 17. I mean, it's, it's inter interesting, but I think I skip. Left or right, I think. Left. Alright, let's see the artifact. This one would be fine. But let's see first uh, the unstable vortex will be deleting the last train steward. Um, what else is annoying me? <laughs> uh, nothing much, I guess. Yeah, nothing much, but I might as well delete one of these. Actually, I'll delete the imp. Alright, let me see what could I do. I think this is more important than the artifact, so I will double stack that card. I could make something cheaper, I guess. Do I have that armor card? I don't. Every one of these is an offensive, 
I guess I could make this cheaper anyway. Let's reroll. Permafrost would be probably better than making something cheaper. But yeah, I already did it, didn't I? So can't really change much now. Alright, I mean, this should be a win. So my friendly units will, will enter with uh, uh, rage and sub, so eh, it's gonna be whatever, basically. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I could, but I better just save energy between turns. Seven strikes oh, is an interesting uh, possibility, but I think I put you here. I will keep armoring you up and everyone apparently. Uh, sap kind of kills the joy of my strength, but I do have this card. It's not going to be enough. Because it was random damage, but whatever. Alright, so. Guess I'll put you here. You would just die anywhere where I put you, so I will ignore you for now. And yeah, I will take some damage, I guess. 11. You will die. I don't want you to die. And now you won't die. But I'm more interested in uh, how to put it to even more damage to these backline units. Alright, so that's pretty good. Uh, if I put you, you probably will just take the damage for no reason, so keep in hand for now. I will apply this to you. And that's it. <laughs> Insane. Alright. Um, so let's use you on you. I'll take very little damage now, which is what I like to see. Applying more spell weakness to you. Do this and turn. I want that spell weakness stacked as much as possible. Now he has seven spell weakness. Alright, I do have to purge the purgeable card. Probably do this first. Ah, uh, sad. I guess I'll sacrifice you to save the HP. Um, all right, and turn. So final wave approaches. Not really worried, to be honest. Well, it would be nice to be able to, you know, make you in tank here. Oh my god. I guess I have to open up with this. This is free. Uh, flying Rage, should I keep it? I think I have to apply it, honestly. Yes, I use this to apply more armor. Alright, so I do just win, right? Yes, I do. So let me see how much damage will he take. Uh, so 7 plus 20. It's probably 20 times 7, so 140? 160? Wait a minute, did I calculate it wrong? I didn't calculate it wrong, so why? I have no idea. Well, anyway, uh, we win, and we don't even lose a single unit on the last floor because of the multi striking. Yep. Dante of. 
uh, what's his name? Dante of the Dante the Deceptive. <laughs> it's just a godlike card. And this is uh, not my best run. I did take a lot of damage, so my score is not really high, but it's whatever. It is. It was a Covenant rank challenge, and I did take a lot of uh, cards, just for sake of taking them, so I am able to make them golden, honestly. And I didn't even to like optimize my deck. I mean, my deck was pretty optimal as soon as I got the Dante the Deceptive, so yeah. Didn't have to care too much for, uh, you know, lowest, best combination as soon as possible kind of deck. So let's see what what does the next covenant rank do? Friendly units on the top floor and redazed. Uh, I think you you mostly can just ignore that. I mean, it will make killing collector a bit harder, but that's it. Yep, so next episode we will be challenging Covenant rank 10. And be besides that, thank you guys for watching and see you next one. Goodbye.